everyone, my name is MJ Vilchess, and this is how I make or texture an eye for my 3D characters in Blender. You ready? Well, let's get to it then. Step one, prepare the eye. See that this tutorial assumes that you have a sphere for an eye. Although this kind of texturing method may work on other shape of the eyes, I am not gonna give you any guarantees. So, you know, try it out for yourself if you uh, want. Yeah, anyways, if you have an eye for the character, you need to separate or isolate the eyes. You can either just hide the rest of the character while you're texturing or just, you know, make the eye a separate mesh. But after doing this, you now need to go to edit mode. And if you are using a sphere for an eye, the first thing you need to do is to duplicate the sphere in edit mode and scale it down a bit. So for the eyes of all of my characters, I always use this method. There's an outer layer, which will be like the glassy, glossy part of the eye. And there's going to be an inner layer, which is where going to be all the textures and the color of the eyes. Another thing you need to do during the edit mode is to kind of concave the part of the eye where the iris and the pupil is. Now, this may or may not be a scientific thing, but it actually really looks nice if you do it like this where the iris and the pupil area is concave. But yeah, this is how I do the eyes for my characters. And really up to you if you want to do it this way as well. It really depends on what your character is or you want to be more realistic and stuff. There's definitely more things that you need to do for your eye. But for me, this is enough. So yeah, after this, we can then head over to step two, which is setting up materials. So yeah, for my eyes, I always add about three materials. There's going to be the eye glass material and then the eye white which is the white part of the eye and then the eye iris pupil material which will be for the iris and the pupil area also make sure that you're assigning the parts of the eye to the appropriate material you can do this by going to edit mode and selecting the parts of the eye where you want the material to have any influence so for this eye you will need the outer layer of the eye to be assigned to the eye glass material the white part to the eye white material and then the iris pupil part will be for the eye underscore iris pupil material yeah after that we can then go to step three which is uv editing so yeah for the uv editing of this eye i always mark sim right around the edge loop where the iris and the pupil will end and also the middle of uh, the whole eyeball and also make sure to unwrap after doing the seams this is just gonna give us a nice arrangement of all of the UVs on the UV grid, which makes it easier to texture if you wanna add some texture. But for this eye, we are gonna be using some procedural texturing. And yeah, the only thing you need to do for UV editing actually is that after unwrapping it, you will take the iris pupil area of the eye on the UV grid. Then you make sure that you align the whole thing to the 2D cursor. Also make sure that you didn't click anywhere on the UV grid that changed the 2D cursor location. Because by default, the 2D cursor is located on the lower left corner of the UV grid. And yeah, to align the iris pupil part to the 2D cursor in the UV grid, just select all of the iris pupil part on the UV grid, which is this one. Press Shift S and then select selection to cursor offset. And now that the iris part is aligned to the 2D cursor, we now have to scale it this way to make our procedural texturing work later on. So yeah, the middle of the iris part should be right here on the lower left corner of the UV grid. Yeah, after that, you're good. We can now head over to step four, which is node setup. So yeah, looking at the default node setup in Blender, you'll see that principal BSDF is being used. We are not gonna be replacing this. We're actually going to be using this. So yeah, we set up three materials for our eye. For the eye underscore glass, we actually just need to do a few tweaks on the settings here. We are going to set the metallic to one and then set the roughness to zero. We are also gonna set the alpha to probably about point one. And then if you're rendering in Eevee, you just need to set the blend mode to alpha blend. It's also best to turn off the shadow. 
for the eye white you can actually do whatever you want with this for my eye for this eye which i will be using for stylized characters i'm actually not going to be adding any uh redness to it or it having veins but you can definitely do that you just have to make sure that you arranged the uvs properly so that you can add textures to it that's something that i might show on a future video but for now we're gonna skip through that and what we're gonna do for the eye underscore white is just set the roughness to one and you know set the base color to yeah you know, if you want to you want it to be more yellow you go yellow blue i'm just gonna leave it to like maybe a bluish tint here so yeah, the material that we're actually going to be tweaking most here is going to be the iris pupil material. And what we're going to do for this material is that we're going to be setting up nodes that will give us a procedural uh, pupil and also some procedural details on the iris part. So yeah, first we're going to add that procedural uh, pupil. And we're going to do that by adding a mix or a color a mix RGB node right here. We're going to attach that to the base color. We're going to set the factor to 1, set it to multiply, and color 2 here is going to be where we're going to be attaching the procedural pupil. Color 1 will be in the color of the eye. So just set it to any color you want. We're going to set it to purple for now because that's the color of uh, the eye of our Italian character. After setting up uh, this node, we can then add the other nodes that will give us a procedural uh, pupil. Our first node will be the color ramp node. We're just going to attach that to color two right here. And then we are going to add a gradient texture to this uh, color ramp node. We're going to set the, we're going to connect the color of the gradient texture to the factor of the color ramp node. And we're going to set this to spherical. And we're also going to add a texture coordinate node and attach UV to the vector of gradient texture. And as you can see, we're having this uh, color ramp effect here. Uh, I can control like uh, that black edge thing there using the color ramp node. And then I can add another color stop here, make the middle color stop white, and then the other end to be black. And this right uh, color stop right here is actually how we're gonna be controlling uh, the pupil dilation. So as you can see, it's looking nice. You can make the pupil like really small, like a you know, like a vampire's a pupil or something. Or you can you know make it like a normal size. And you can also uh, add a driver on this uh, the position of this color stop here to control like in an animation or something, or do uh, you know, attach uh, this color stop to a rig to animate the pupil dilation. Yeah, that's pretty much it for like the pupil. We are going to add that to a frame just for, you know, just to be a bit more organized. And later on, if we want to make some tweaks, we know that these nodes right here are the ones that we will be using to tweak our pupil. So we're just gonna label that pupil. And now what we're gonna do is we're going to add more details to our iris. So for the iris area, we're just gonna add another multiply node here. We can actually just duplicate this one and drop, drop it right here. Make sure that color one really is set to the pupil nodes. And then now we're going to be adding the iris nodes. And to do that, we are going to duplicate again the multiply node here attach it to color two and then we are going to add two color ramps so i'm just gonna attach the other color ramp to color one and then we duplicate this and connect this to color two so this color ramp right here it's going to be the bottom layer we're going to be adding a noise texture to this so the noise texture is just going to be that details on the iris area so we're gonna do that by adding a noise texture and we're going to be attaching this noise texture to the factor of the color ramp and you can actually see it there we just have to scale it a bit more so yeah we have our noise texture here so we can either just leave it like this it, this is by default set to like a texture co a generated texture coordinate and yeah we could just leave it without attaching any texture coordinate to this but if you want like a you know you can experiment with a texture coordinate node on this one to you know to achieve an effect that you want so we're just gonna you know tweak it maybe make it smaller we can even tweak the color ramp node here just to emphasize more some aspects of this thing even add distortion and yeah you can already see how it's looking there maybe 15 will do 
yeah, 15 will do for now. So that's it for like a few details on the eye. But of course, in most eyes, there's always that like line that's like lining up the uh, iris area. And we're going to be doing that by adding a Musgrave texture and setting uh, and connecting the height to the factor of the other color ramp node. And we are going to attach a gradient texture to this and set it to radial and we're also going to be attaching like a uv texture coordinate to this so it follows the uv you can see here that it's forming that line thing of course if it's reversed we can always just flip the color of our color ramp here and we can just tweak uh, our color ramp to emphasize more of these lines and you know increase the scale to add more lines and, you know just keep on tweaking it until you get a look that you want one other thing that you need to do by the way is to also set the roughness of the eye pupil and eye white to one because if you set it to you know if it has this roughness it it gives us this like shine or specular here that we, we don't really want for the inner layer of the eye so we're just gonna set that to roughness because like the glossiness of the eye will be determined by the eye glass material here and yeah also another thing that you can do is organize i'm gonna add this to a frame and just label the frame um uh, iris controller or iris and there you have it. We have our procedural eye texture. You can even experiment for, with the noise texture here. You can even use a different texture if you want. Uh, we can add here a uh, maybe a magic texture to make the texture of this eye, you know, more uniform or something. Or, you know, change the color. Uh, also, uh, you know, if you want the color to be more, you know, have a different effect, you can change this to maybe overlay. Really up to you. You can even add more like color stops here to kind of give a unique look to your eye. Just, you know, go crazy with it. But of course, it also depends on what your character is. But for now, we're going for the normal looking eye. So we're just gonna get back to the black there. But yeah, that's all there is to it. That's how I texture the eye for my 3D characters in Blender. I will also make this blend file available to download. There will be a link in the description below to my Kofi shop where you can download the blend file for this uh, tutorial. And yeah, just add a bit of tip there to, you know, to keep the boat sailing. Also, a huge thanks to these people right here, to Caro, Green, Paragon, Jane, Guillermo Gage, Scared Flyer, and Prime Deceiver. They supported me through code-free.com slash Productions. And yeah, if you want to support me in all of my endeavors, that's the best place to do it. You either buy some of the stuff that I have on my Kofi shop or Gumroad or support me in Kofi. Yeah, that's all for now. Hopefully I've shared something that is very useful to you. And if I did, consider liking the video and subscribing to this channel because I'm definitely making more. Thank you so much for watching. My name is MJ Vilches and yeah, I got a character maker that I need to finish.